and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you recommended me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if we to see something of yours shown on this channel, just leave me the name of the Steam Workshop or Mod Isle item in the comment section below and I'll eventually get round to it. But for today we are looking at another large block ship that's built for ramming. This is the Anuba class frigate, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a giant ship that has a lovely ramming blade at the front there that should deal a nice lot of damage to whatever it hits. And I've got the perfect target already and set up over there for the end of the video. So pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the Anuba class frigate is 4,253 large blocks using the Sparks of the Future DLC packs. We can also see a little bit of information about it on the Steam Workshop page, such as it's well armed and it packs a punch with its heavy ramming blade. So we'll give this thing a thumbs up. I'll very quickly double click this because it does use projectors. And there we go, we can see its actual size is only 2,186 large blocks. So what we'll do now is come all the way around towards the very front here. We'll have a quick look around the outside, a very quick look at the interior. This thing has a very tiny interior, it's quite surprising actually. And then we'll go and test out the ramming blade against the Albatross. So at the very front here, this is what we get. You can't really see too much because we've got this lovely blue strip of blocks, which is our ramming blade. Surrounding all of this, we've got some clean black blocks that make up the main body of where we're going to go inside. Behind this, we've got ourselves a piston system, which will act as our elevator. For us to come all the way around like so, you'll be able to see our bright blue piston that'll lift us all the way up top there, and that's how we're going to get into our cockpit to drive this thing around. If you were to return to it on the side there, that is our ramming blade. Then we can see some lovely blue turrets on the top there, on the side there, with a big old railgun and the front. So moving along the side here, we can see our assault cannon, or even auto cannons. I can't remember what that turret is off the top of my head. We've got a bunch of hydrogen thrusters to help on our left and right, some great use of our letter blocks, spinning out the Anuba CRR class, and then a bunch of Gatling guns at the top there, with a little shimmer of a projector all the way at the top here and on the side. It looks like the creator updated this ship to use their brand new weapons and forgot to update the projector block, so we're seeing the old original Gatling guns just poking out in our new turrets. But we'll just ignore that for the moment and just continue around onto the side. So moving all around onto this side, we've got some more lovely blue and black blocks that come all the way across onto this side section. We've got a bunch of hydrogen thrusters. We can see how that's been joined up to the main body of the ship with these lovely blocks right there. But if we look on the side of this section, this is what we get. So even more hydrogen thrusters, we can see a large hydrogen thruster at the bottom there where it's been covered up by a couple of armoured panels. We can see at the back here another assault cannon, then two more cannon turrets on the top and the bottom for more defence. If we were to continue around towards the very back of this thing, this is what we get. We've got four large hydrogen thrusters, then right in the middle there, a lone connector for a very small ship to come and dock up to this. If we were to get a bit closer look at that, that's how it's been set up. So we do have a little bit of protection for whatever small ships tries to dock up, or even just a piston system that extends all the way over to this to help load you up with more hydrogen or ammunition. We can also see an antenna right above there, with some more steel blocks right above it for a bit more protection. But to zoom all the way out and return to our thruster pods, that's what we get as a close up. If we were to come in between this little gap right here, this comes over to our joint of how our side thruster pods have been connected up to the main body. That's how that's been done. If we were to take a sneaky look inside, we'll see a bunch of hydrogen tanks come all the way across and into the main body. The main body contains one hell of a lot of stuff, which is why we can't walk around inside. That's why we've been relegated to the very front to drive this thing around. If we were to look all the way up and look down, there's our Gatling guns at the top there. There's some more hydrogen thrusters to help push us around. That is where I'm currently standing. Then all the way over to here, we're not going to be able to see too much. Just a bunch of lovely black blocks. Then over to there, we've got another assault turret. And all the way over to here, another Gatling turret. Then all the way at the very front, there is our railgun. The turrets on the top do have a bit of protection, so they've got these little barriers right here, which should help out against any kind of stray shots coming towards the main body of the ship, so hopefully they'll last a bit longer than being fully exposed. If we were to come all the way down and underneath the sink past our ramming blade, this is what we get at the very bottom there. So we've got a bunch of magnetic plates to dock this thing up. We can see a couple more turrets with the same setup as ones on top. Then all the way over to here, some more hydrogen thrusters, 
There is a connector and camera setup to help dock this thing up with ease. Then pulling all the way like so, we can see our side thruster pods. We've got two large hydrogen thrusters, one small hydrogen thruster, then the Gatling gun to make sure it's nice and safe. And then there we go at the very back. It was to quickly just pan the camera all the way through the middle of the ship. In fact, we'll come through the side of this first of all, past our large hydrogen thrusters on the very side parts. Into here, we're not going to be able to see too much. I don't think I can get the camera into a good enough position. But there we go. If we come all the way over to there, we can see even more hydrogen tanks and more conveyors for all of our thrusters on the top and the bottom. Coming into the main body of the ship, hopefully I can get a good look at this. But here is a bunch of batteries, some more hydrogen tanks. We can see some reactors on the side just in case we have access to uranium to power this thing. And just moving all the way across through here, we should be able to see a jump drive somewhere inside here. But there is a large hydrogen tank. Right below there is even more hydrogen tanks. Might be an oxygen tank or another large one. Yes, it looks like an oxygen tank right there. And all the way on this section, we've got a bunch of jump drives. So we can jump quite some distance. And just moving all the way over to here. Here is a module attached onto something. And all the way towards the very front, going through all of our projectors, another large hydrogen tank. We should start to see a bunch of gyroscopes. Here they are. And we're just going to ignore the projector because it is being a bit wonky. And there we go. That should do for a little view on the inside. So now it's time for me to grab hold of my character, come all the way over to the very bottom here, because it's time to go inside. So just dropping all the way down over to here, we've got a lovely little access ramp so we can get in from the ground. So there's the magnetic plate right there. I can now drop my character all the way down. And now we can walk all the way up to this section where we've got our piston elevator. Just looking at the side, we've got ourselves a button panel where we can come up to it and press it. Might be a bit wonky. There we go. Now that's going to raise all the way up. I will sort of go up to our little cockpit. Yes, we can see all the turrets right there. So if you are a sneaky, sneaky pirate, they all blast you before you eventually get all the way up to here. And yes, there is another button panel to put this all the way down to the ground if you need it. And here's some more ramps that go all the way up to our control seat. Walking all the way up to this section, we'll then have a survival kit to respawn on and recharge ourselves. Here is a cargo container for access to everything in the ship. There we go. Then on the opposite side, a emergency survival kit. Just in case one gets destroyed, you've got a backup one right next to it. And it can also help refine stuff if you need it. We're just coming into here and checking on our refineries and assemblers. Do we have any in here? Yes, we do. We got ourselves a assembler and refinery. Couldn't really search for it because it was in a different language. So there we go with that. We can always come over to production and just have a little drop down here. There we go. We've got survival kits and there's our assembler. Then if we were to come all the way over to the inventory tab, we'll just take a quick look at that. Just going to look at that. So we've got a bunch of cargo containers. We've got one large cargo container somewhere on the ship. We've got a few small ones for us to store a few bits and bobs inside. But just turning all around towards the front, this is what we get to drive this thing around. So we can't see anything because we're being well protected up by the steel blocks at the front because we will be ramming into stuff and hopefully we won't take damage. Just hopping into the seat, looking down in first person. This is what we get on our setup. So there we go all the way around. Then bringing up the HUD, tab number one, these are the controls we get. So number one is going to be to turn on and off our hydrogen thrusters all the way around the ship. Number two is for our Gatling guns to turn them on and off. There we go with that. Number three is then for our projector on and off. Number four is for our reactor on and off. Number five for our ore detector. Number six for our antenna. Number seven is for our connectors to lock and unlock them. Number eight is for the camera right next to the connector to help dock this thing up. And then number nine is for our magnetic plates which is sitting right below our ramming blade. Onto tab number two, we then got a projector once again to turn it on and off. And you can see there, that's where our Gatling gun's being projected over our assault cannons. Number two is then for our jump drive, so if it changes back to a ship, there we go, and press that. We can see we can jump 2,346.37 kilometers, which is very nice. We've got two jump drives on here, so we can go a nice long distance and jump away from our enemies. Number three, number four is for our artillery turrets and then our assault turrets. I always get those mixed up, so do forgive me with that. They look very similar on the side there, especially when they're in the same colors. And then the last thing on this is the railgun at the front there, but we can go fire it right now. And there we go. Just a little bit of manual firepower. But now what we can do is fly this thing around very close to this, and then we'll ram it into that and see how it goes. Might even give that to the space pirates and let them go on a one-on-one, -on -one, just to see how the turrets will handle it. So moving forwards, this is what we get. We've got some nice speed, thanks to those four large hydrogen thrusters at the back there. Coming to a stop, we feel slightly faster, which is always nice to see. Then moving left, again, some very good speed with this. It's a large ship, and it's got a surprising amount of thrust in all directions. Then moving down, and then moving up. 
Moving up feels faster than everything else, but it feels very close to moving forwards and backwards. Then as for gyro controls, this is what we get. It is very, very heavy. I'm moving the mouse around quite a lot, and we're not getting much turning radius out of this. So that's a very good thing that you have a lot of turrets on here, because you're not going to be able to outmaneuver any enemies to line up that railgun. Unless of course they're sitting still, or attacking a base. But now what I can do is just turn this all the way around like so. We'll go ram it into the albatross, deal with that, and then we'll give the albatross to the enemies and let the turrets pummel each other. And that'll be that for this video. So here we go, should be good enough now if I come to a stop. Line myself up like so, that should do quite nicely, and now we're going to charge all the way forwards. This should deal a nice lot of damage, and hopefully we'll just split it in half. So hiding the HUD, here we go. Gonna aim it down just a little bit, we might miss it. And there we go, that was a nice chunk of damage. What did I do at the front there? It looks like we did quite a hefty bit of damage, and I am stuck on it. It was the find the free camera and come all the way across, so I can put the light onto it. There we are, that is it's very nice. But it looks like we lost our ramming blade at the front there, so we are good for at least one ram into another ship. But as you can see there, we haven't taken any damage to our cockpit, although it has become a little bit more open. And being the ship isn't too damaged, what I'm going to do is now just fly it all the way around. Just going to angle this so we can get all the turrets onto it. And now I'll give it to the space pirates. So finding it all in here. Finding the space pirates. There we go. Now finding the free camera. They should start the open fire onto each other. And there we go. There goes the artillery. There goes the assault cannons. And all of the guardian guns on the albatross. I think it might be a bit one-sided towards the albatross. Try and get the sun and background just a little bit. There we go. That should do quite nicely. They're exchanging a lot of shots. The artillery cannons is tearing straight through the front of that. It looks like the guns are slowing down on the albatross. Oh, here comes another volley. I thought they ran out of ammo for a second. Was questioning that because I'm on creative. But look at all those shots just exchanging. That's very nice to see. It's always amazing to see all the shots coming across. Although I think the game is starting to struggle to keep up with all the projectiles. Those artillery turrets, those assault cannons doing massive work on there. We have to take a closer look at the albatross. It looks like all the turrets are still in roughly one piece. It seems the Anuba class is going for the hydrogen tanks in the middle there, trying to take it offline like that. They want to come all the way across over to here. It looks like we've got most of the turrets in place. They are also going for the hydrogen tanks right there. And if that goes, that's going to be a big explosion. But anyway, that is pretty much it for the Anuba class frigate has to offer. It's a lovely looking ship and it's got a nice lot of firepower if you are looking for a ship like this in your world. And there goes one of the hydrogen tanks. That should have dealt a large amount of damage there. Yes, it has. We can see our jump drives right there. I should have had the jump drive explosion mod where it just tears apart the entire ship when they blow up. We now see all the batteries inside, all the gyroscopes. And yes, as I was saying, that is pretty much it for the Anuba class frigate. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself. Highly recommend you do. There'll also be a link to the skybox I'm also using. It's a very nice one that makes things very, very bright. Although I am more of a fan of the darker skybox, it just makes it a lot easier to showcase ships. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.